Welcome to another video interview brought to you by Connected. My name is Emily Brangenberg. I'm the editor of CEP Magazine. And I'm at the Spring 2013 AICAG meeting. With me is Dr. Sunita Sachipal. She's the Director of Fuel Cell Technologies Office within the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable, Renewable Energy. She has just presented the keynote for the Emerging Technologies in Clean Energy Topical Conference. Hi. Hi. Can you tell me what the key messages or insights that you would like your audience to take away from your talk? Um, yes, I would say that fuel cells are an emerging technology and we're seeing tremendous progress. Um, more than 20,000 units were shipped, fuel cell systems were shipped in one year. That's a 35% growth from the previous year. So this is across the board for stationary applications as well as early markets. And we've seen amazing progress, more than 80% cost reduction um, in the last uh, decade. And part of that has been a lot of the R&D, the research and development that we've been funding through the Department of Energy, um, Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy. And for example, we reduced the amount of platinum, which is a catalyst, um, in the fuel cell by a factor of five just in the last few years. So again, I think the main message is fuel cells are an emerging technology. There's been tremendous progress just in the last few years and we're starting to see the market take off. Wow. So what have been some of the biggest challenges in increasing the use of fuel cells and moving these technologies to market? Um, I think one of the major challenges has been hydrogen infrastructure. Now, fuel cells can use a number of different fuels. They can use natural gas, mm -hmm. um, but when you use hydrogen um, in automobiles, for example, the only emissions is water, and they're much more efficient than conventional combustion technologies. You waste a lot of that energy in the fuel as, as heat when you burn the fuel. So fuel cells are much more efficient, but one of the main challenges is hydrogen. Um, how do you produce the hydrogen, distribute it? And many car makers have announced plans for um, commercial hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in the 2015 to 2017 timeframe. However, hydrogen infrastructure is a, a big challenge. We've actually validated um, about 180 vehicles and 25 stations across the US Mm -hmm. um, we've driven about three and a half million miles um, with these vehicles, a lot of good real-world um, data from the vehicles, and we're starting to see the cost of hydrogen come down, especially from natural gas, but in the long term we're looking at hydrogen from renewable pathways for low emissions. So I would say um, hydrogen infrastructure uh, production, delivery, uh, storage are still challenges, and then we still need to reduce the cost of the fuel cell and improve the durability of the fuel cell. Okay. What do you think chemis can do to impact the development and the deployment of fuel cells in the future? Um, I think this is actually a very exciting um, area for chemis. And I think uh, process optimization, cost reduction is critical. So when it comes to hydrogen production technologies, for instance, uh, improving efficiencies, reducing capital costs, feedstock costs, uh, process optimization. And just to give an example, we recently demonstrated the world's first tri-generation system. Co-generation, which most people know about, is combined heat and power. Um, and tri-generation is where we can produce heat, power, and uh, co-produce hydrogen. And we've done that through, you can either use natural gas or wastewater treatment plant, biogas, which is what we uh, demonstrated in California with our partners. And um, you use a high temperature fuel cell produce heat, power, and hydrogen. And this was just the world's first, but there's still a lot of issues. So process optimization, scale up is another area where we need uh, chemi um, expertise and again, cost reduction, improving um, the uh, scalability, modularity for stations is another key area. So I think in general, um, there are a lot of interesting uh, areas for chemis. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Sajipal, uh, for sharing your thoughts with AICHE and the Connected Community. Thank you.